welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take this pile of scrap wood and a spindle and make this cute mini lantern holder. Get ready, let's go. Okay guys, so let's get started. So first with this lantern stand that I made, um, I took my table saw and some just some scrap wood that I had kicking around and I cut down some pieces. I cut down three pieces two for the top and one for the bottom. The smaller pieces for the bottom and I'm just kind of figuring out how big I want them and I want to make sure that I have my bottom big enough so that when I put my lantern when I hang it from the top that it doesn't tip over. You don't want it top heavy. You also want to make sure that your tops are long enough so that when you hang your lantern from it it doesn't hit your base of your stand and bang on that. You want to make sure there's enough room for your lantern to hang on that freely. And then I want to sand down my pine, pieces of pine that I cut out and get them all nice and smooth. And I want to be able to uh, stain them so I want to make sure that I sand them down a little bit so that I can, so that it will take some stain too. I'm using Minwax Special Walnut on my raw pieces. I like to stain my raw pieces, especially if I'm going to uh, distress them or like this one, I'm going to spray paint black and then distress. That way it all has this, about the same color so that I can, uh, when I distress it, it all comes back through the browns the dark browns, the light browns, the black, all that comes through together on all the pieces. Okay, I thought I was filming, was not filming, figures. Um, okay, so this is the top of my lantern and this is the smaller piece and I started gluing everything down and then I was like, oh geez, I don't have anything um, filming right now. So what I'm gonna do is about where it's going to be in the middle of this, I'm going to drill that little hole for the head of the screw to be able to get down inside there. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller one and in the middle of that one I'm going to go down. I don't have anything underneath here because this is wood, so um, this is what I, what I have. Okay, so I'm gonna take my screw and put it in the hole, and I'm gonna get it situated on here. It's already got the glue on it for under, underneath. What I'm trying to do is hide the screw in the top so that you don't see it but I have a magnetic tip and it just wants to be a stinker. There we go. All right. Now, as I'm doing this, I wanna make sure that if you have a rounded one, it's not gonna really matter, but this one kind of has square sides. So I wanna make sure that it's lined up with my square my front so that it's straight on. It doesn't have to be, but I don't know. That's just how I like it. So anyway, that's the first part of my top. So what I want to do is I'm trying to hide this hole for the screw. I don't want to see that in the top, even though, um, you know, because if I had this on here and I screwed down through the top, I'm trying to hide that so that you don't see it. So this is going to be glued on to the top, but I'm also going to screw it underneath here because you're not going to see that as well. So that was the main purpose of me gluing the top as well. So I'm going to put this on and I'm trying to get the back flush. I want all this flush. doesn't have to be. You could have it hanging over. I mean, if you had, I would have to make it a little bit longer, but because I'm, I usually put, um, pit berries up around it and up over it, you're not gonna really see that part very well. So I'm gonna flip it upside down so that I can see the bottom. 
Okay, so I started putting my drill holes in and I put this one too close to the edge of this, but this one's good. So I'm gonna keep that one there and I'll just do another one a little bit next to it, like right about here. Just down a little bit. And then, of course, I wanna do my little drill bit in the middle. Make sure everything's lined up still. And only go down a little ways because you don't want it to come through the top of this one. There we go. So there's our two holes. And then I'm gonna stick a screw in each of them. These are just cheapo drywall screws. I use these a lot in my um, in my crafts. All right, because this is magnetic, it doesn't like to go on very well. go and see the top how nice that looks how good that looks on the top you can't tell that there's any screws or anything but this is held down this is good this isn't going anywhere but this is what it looks like when I tell you about the screws and making that drill hole all right this one I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to make sure that my good side is facing to the top of the so that when it's flipped over, this good side is what you can see. So what I'm gonna do, again, is drill my hole about where, yeah, about in the middle right there. Just down a little bit. You can see that, just down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to take my smaller, smaller bit, go down right in the middle, and I go right down through, and we're going to screw that on there, I hope. And again, you want to make sure it's lined up. Hopefully that's going to hold. It seems like it's pretty balanced. You want to be careful of how heavy you make your uh, have your uh, lantern that you're going to have hanging because it's going to be hanging off here. You want to be careful because if it's too heavy, it's going to go tip over. So in that case, if that was what was happening, you'd want to take another piece of wood, kind of do the same as you do with this one. You want to take another piece of wood and put it on here and make it a little bit longer so it sticks out a little bit further and that way um, it gives you a little more so it doesn't tip it gives you a little more non-tipping right now it looks pretty good so we're gonna see how that works i think that's gonna be okay and i'm gonna take one of these hooks off and this is what i'm gonna use on my for my lantern and it's going to go right here you can either do it front ways or back way back ways <laughs> or the back way however you want it to hang but moment of truth let's see if this guy will hang on here without it tipping over we're going to find out and if it does we got to put a base on the bottom but that's okay <gasps> look at that it's good A little bit, a little bit tippy. Woo, look at that. How cute, how cute is that, right? Haven't even painted it yet. Haven't even decorated it up yet. So cute, I love it.
I used my flat black Rust-Oleum spray paint, spray painted the stand, and then I took it and once it was dry and distressed it with my sander. And then I didn't show it, I guess, but I sprayed it with my clear um, matte spray paint. It's a sealer from Rust-Oleum as well. So I did that too. Here um, I'm just showing you, I took a bunch of pit berries that I had off um, another garland that had the wire was way too big to wrap around this little lantern. So I made my own garland basically and I just basically took the wires and just wired them all together and wrapped it around the lantern. I'm going to have to staple, which I'll show you later on, but I stapled it in a couple places in the back where you won't even see it. Um, and if you needed to, you could take a marker and just kind of color in that staple so that it you couldn't see it, color it black or whatever color your lantern's going to be so it would kind of blend in with everything. But here I'm just showing you how I wrapped it around and I'm just fluffing it up and making it go cover the whole stand and just wrap around and look full. Staple gun and I stapled two times onto my garland that I made. I did one here so it's nice and, and uh, secure up here it's all twisted around and then i did it again at the bottom so that it will stay down and um just secure down at the bottom as well so it doesn't ride up or come down or any of that stuff so at the moment it's a little bit crazy um and a lot of it has to do with just tweaking and moving and making it look good to your eyes what whatever you think looks good um, if you were to do something like this. I'm telling you, if you don't have anything else in your stock of crafts, one of the things that you should have, one of the, I don't even know, top five, and then I gotta come up with four other ones, is moss. Well, unless you don't like the mess. Um, moss is just an awesome filler, and it really does dress up um, projects. It fills in spaces so you don't have to paint, so you don't have to put stuff in, you can put less stuff in there. So it's pretty awesome. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna put it around the bottom. I think it's really gonna dress up the bottom quite a bit. So I have my glue gun on over here. If you can deal with all the little itty bitty pieces, then that's awesome. I'm gonna lift these up right here like this. I'm gonna put this down onto the glue. I'm just gonna finish up around the back side. Woo! There's my little finger thing. There it is. There. Push it right into that glue so it stays. And then I give it a little haircut. Just a little trim around the edges. Here's my lantern. We're gonna go with the black lantern. Just because I don't have to do any painting on this. Let's get rid of all this moss. Again, I think it's just awesome to have moss around because it's so handy for lots of things. All right, I'm gonna get this started. Maybe here. And then just rip it right down. I think a cute little bow on this one would be great. It's like a little bow tie, so cute. And again, you could take your moss and you could stuff it in, be, in the, behind it, make it pop right out. Take a little bit. And then stick it on there in behind the bow so it kind of peeks out. And then again, we gotta give it a little, I like it straggly, but we're gonna give it a little bit of a haircut. A little bit on this side, and behind your bow. So what I do is, for these little spots, I ball it up, put 
that in there. And then it kind of, um, and I know I've said this word before, um, it kind of marries the two pieces together. So you have a little bit of your moss on this part, on the hanger, and then you have a little bit of moss on your lantern. So it looks intentional. So it looks like the two go together, like they're supposed to be together. Like if somebody found this somewhere and this somewhere in two different spots, they'd look at them and go, oh, those two things go together. Cause you could just see that. So there, so there we go. It's a little bit of the moss in there underneath and then on each side just popping out. It looks so cute. I found a star that I can put on the front right, right up on the bow. So I'm gonna put a bunch of glue on that and put on my little finger doohickey so I don't burn myself. And stick that baby right in the middle of my bow. It would really be nice if the garland that I made had little, sometimes they have little rusty stars on them but that one does not, so, but that's okay. It'll be all right. It'll be okay. Awesome, that's so cute. I love it with the star on it. Okay, let's see what it looks like all together. I make my mini lantern holder. I hope you guys like it. I've been working on these for several years and I haven't seen anything like it on the market anywhere. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe and have a great day.